biomedical testing was extensive on plumb bob. The major portion of the experimentation was devoted to furnishing information on the effects of nuclear weapons on the large biological specimen, the pig. Early in the plumb bob operation, 135 pigs in aluminum containers for protection against blast and thermal were exposed to the Franklin shot to determine the effects of combined neutron and gamma radiation and straight gamma. Franklin's extremely low yield made it necessary to repeat the experiment on shot Wilson. Wilson's higher than expected yield, along with a neutron line not shielded as well as Franklin's line, gave the pigs a greater radiation dose than desired. With only two animals living beyond the 30-day observation period, the relative biological effectiveness of neutrons was not obtained. On DOD shot Priscilla, 710 pigs were stationed at overpressure ranges of 10 to 1.4 psi in an arrangement to obtain a wide selection of combinations of radiation, thermal, and mechanical injury effects. The four midline stations were glass fronted to serve as missile sources to obtain wounds for medical and surgical treatment evaluation. After the fury of the Priscilla burst had spent itself, a round-the-clock operation was set in motion, beginning with biomedical teams hurrying in to recover the animals. Of the group exposed within the precursor range, the primary cause of death was mechanical injury to the organisms due to translation. The mortality rate, nearly 100%, can be applied to man. Outside the precursor, those animals in the open which escaped total missile injury survived temporarily until the massive radiation they received took its fatal toll. Flying glass fragments did not significantly influence overall mortality. In the range where missiles produced a considerable number of wounds, most of the animals received lethal doses of radiation. Many in this group also received serious thermal burns. Due to the small number of survivors with the desired thoracic and abdominal wounds, evaluation of the medical and surgical treatment phase of the experiment did not produce conclusive results.